Hello, welcome to Slow Art with the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. I'm your docent, Dr. Pauline Griffith, and we're going to be examining a work from our permanent collection. I call this study Roxy Payne, Rooted in Steel, the Dendroid series. The glass lobby of the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth offers visitors a huge light expanse of space and an invitation to see through the facing glass wall to the reflection pool on which the wings of the museum gallery seem to float. Farther across the pool is the enclosing grass lawn and a stand of large trees. And there, on the lawn, directly before the pool, stand two massive steel trees that are the subject of this examination. The sculpture by American artist Roxy Payne, titled Conjoined, was completed in 2007 and is from a series he began in 1998 called Dendroids. We will look at and consider the piece more fully in a moment, but now it is a good time to clear up some terms. The series titled Dendroid refers to something biological that exhibits structured arborescent branching. It looks like a tree. The title of the work, Conjoined, is a term we usually hear in reference to human twins who are physically linked together. The term actually means things joined together by a common purpose. Also, knowing the underlying influences for Payne's works enhances our understanding and appreciation of them. Looking at the work, we see two 45-foot steel tree trunks that lean toward one another. The branching limbs bend together as if blown by a strong wind. The trunks are graceful and smooth, and the branches are bare of leaves, allowing a clear view of the surroundings, the sky, and the stand of trees. Although made of steel, the limbs, reaching 45 feet into the air, are joined, linking tree to tree in an almost delicate pattern. The trees inform the landscape, glinting in the strong Texas sun or softly shimmering in moonlight, visible from the lobby, from the floating galleries, from the patios, and reflected in the pool. It is interesting to know a little bit about the artists whose steel vision is our study. As an artist, Payne has strongly been influenced by the contrast between the natural and the manufacturer. Born in New York City in 1966, but growing up in Northern Virginia, he left school at 15 and entered Santa Fe College in 1986 before transferring to the Pratt Institute. The Santa Fe influences are clear in the Dendroid series. First is the significant influence of the manufactured medium for art. At that point, Santa Fe was the home of the Shadoni Foundation, an internationally known foundry for metal arts and monumental bronze works. Shadari work produced beautifully crafted sculptures, exemplifying high quality in both design and process. The second seminal influence was the New Mexico landscape that creates stark and dramatic vistas where singular objects become particularly vivid. The high desert landscapes in New Mexico provide instances of twisted and gnarled plant life that is silhouetted in strong relief against a stark desert. Unlike Santa Fe, the northern Virginia landscape of Payne's youth was characterized by green vegetation and trees. Payne's experiences living in both environments provided him perspectives with two highly varied and evocative natural landscapes. Ironically, when Payne later returned to Virginia, he was dismayed by the tracked homes and industrialization encroaching into the rural areas. Payne said the intersection between the natural and the man-made became deep themes. A new warped sense of nature influenced my thinking. Nature became both inspiration and subject for many of Payne's works, which he translates into stainless steel. 
Payne's creative process exemplifies his attention to the juxtaposition of the natural and the manufactured, attention he continues to explore. His process and his works reveal distinctive differences with other artists whose medium is steel. Payne's series, Dendroids, and the work conjoined are constructed of manufactured stainless steel pipes that are hand welded and finished. YouTube videos show Payne's studio where he demonstrates his process. Much of that type of metalwork would also occur as a part of a job done in an auto body shop. But the medium alone does not create the singularity of his art. Roxy Payne's works, such as Conjoined, are the stainless steel medium made famous by artists like Donald Judd. Yet Payne's works are a departure in both style and philosophy. Andrea Carnes, senior curator at the Modern's analysis of Judd's process and works, attests to Payne's difference. Judd relied on geometry, serial and repetitious forms driven by the fundamental principles of mathematics and logic. His objects are purposefully cool and detached, a result of his hands-off approach and adherence to the machine aesthetic. In contrast, Payne discussed his process, which begins by drawing his concepts. Rather than the minimalist, hands-off concept ascribed to by Judd, Payne uses hands-on joinings and polishings to realize the industrialized image of the organic tree. Using clean, industrial medium, used by many minimalist artists, Payne created his Dendroid series, which is non-repetitive and organically inspired. The philosophical intent is clear in the work conjoined, where the two trees are joined through the limbs and thus exemplify the work's title. Two other works in the same series as conjoined inform the principles found in the Fort Worth sculpture. Bluff is a bare, single-trunk, 30-foot tree that was first installed in Central Park. A second key work is a monolithic roof installation titled May Elstrom. The structure is a 29 by 130 by 40 foot steel tree, first installed at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York. Each of these monumental trees is crafted in stainless steel and like conjoined, suggest movement and organicism, yet convey a gestural and fluid feel. Benjamin Ginocchio says that pain poetically addresses the fraught intersection of earth and art. Payne's philosophy concerning his work is not published in full, but in the catalog for Bluff of 2002, he stated his inspiration for the impetus for the Dendroid series. I've processed the idea of a tree and created a system for its form. I take this organic, majestic being and break it down into compounds and rules. The branches are translated into pipe and rod. He stated he views the branching of the trees and the other organic systems, such as fungal mycelium, that's mushrooms, as metaphoric for the interrelatedness of life in general, particularly 21st century life. Further understanding of his divergence from the established minimal artists like Judd come from Payne himself. He stated that he believes that all synaptic structures, even circuit boards, reveal the same interconnectivity. The human circulatory system and the brain synapses form similar patterns internally that the branching trees form visually. These are the internal systems that Payne conveys with his developing body of art. As well as the structural attributes of the works, the installation sites are a part of Payne's artistic consideration. Unlike a Bellini statue or a Renaissance bust, Payne intends for his pieces to stand in context with their surroundings. In this way, he plans to set industrial produced structures in natural settings. Explaining the setting for my Elstrom, Payne stated that he envisioned 
an open, sensitive structure responding to its surroundings. He further explains that the roof installation was to have the gnarled tree spreading open to the sky and air and accessible to the viewer. The sculptor invited viewers to look down from the roof to the organic trees and gardens below in the park. Conjoined is installed on the green lawn of the modern, not among the trees, but apart where the viewer can see the broad interplay of the widespread branches. Views around the trees invite numerous perspectives. The sculpture may be viewed from under the natural trees or at another angle in front of and framing the organic trees. Conjoined can be viewed from the patios and from within the building through the great windows and from each of the gallery wings. The sculpture reflects in the pool. Visitors can even lie down beneath the pane trees and look up at the sky through the joined branches behind the museum wall and leaning toward the conjoined trees a contemporary office building of steel and glass looms, an insistent visual presence. Traffic sounds from a busy intersection rumble by. Conjoined is then ironic, synchronic, appropriately set. It stands in a place where the aesthetic of art and the mundane of commerce meet. Thank you for joining us for Slow Art at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. Do come again. <laughs>